The Build Report tool is a paid Unity asset that is easily worth triple the price if you have a file size issue to solve. I use it in every project now. Installing is quick. Since the whole package is just code, it's less than a megabyte. The tool is marketed as something to help keep your build size under 50 megabytes for mobile apps, but it's also very useful for desktop builds. On itch.io, you've got your 1 gigabyte size limit for web uploads or 2 gigabytes if you use the uploader, so that can be a pretty tough restriction for some types of game. This tool works by analyzing the build log from your project. This log is generated by Unity and is actually something you could analyze by hand yourself if you don't value your time. The log analysis can take quite a while on large projects, but you can turn off automatic display of the log window if you don't want to see it every build. This tool is very handy for my dungeon crawlers, which are all in the same project and are built using different settings. And I'll go into how I do that in another video. But that project has 700 gigabytes of assets, and the final game builds are only between 2 and 6 gigabytes. So there's a lot that doesn't get included, and a settings mistake can get really ugly. The build report automatically shows up when you build, or you can select Window, Show Build Report. You can disable having the report show up automatically and only see it when you launch it if you prefer. So here's what a build report looks like, and I'm going to go over all the tabs here. The first one is the summary tab, and it'll tell you what your build size is, what takes up most of the space in the build, which will usually be textures, and your top largest files that are and are not in the build. The project settings tab isn't super useful, but it could be handy for tracking down a weird setting that could be causing your app size to grow. I don't know why the build process tab is included because it doesn't show any information I find useful. The size stats tab is also not very useful because it just repeats information that's available elsewhere. The most useful tab is the used assets tab. That'll list the largest assets in your build and what percentage of the build they take up. And you can use this to track down what is really consuming the space in your build. One of the easiest ways to reduce the size of your build is seeing that you have a huge 4K texture used on something small and rarely seen, or you could change that to a 1K texture and not have your game look noticeably different, but have a file that's 16 times smaller. Another way you can reduce size is by excluding any scenes you're not using. For example, if you had a test scene that you were putting a bunch of assets in to see how they look, if you exclude that from the build, you can often reduce the size. And on the overview page, you can see pretty easily what scenes have been included in the build. The unused assets tab will show you the largest files that are not included in the build. That can be handy if you want to free up some disk space by deleting some assets that you know you'll never want to use in any builds. And that's really all there is to the build report tool. It's a very simple asset, but it makes it very easy to find the useful information that'll help you make changes to reduce the size of your build and just manage your files better in general. I've put a link in the description if you're interested. It's an affiliate link, so I'll get a few cents if you buy through that. Thanks for watching.